I'm sitting on this random street and there's like music playing. I'm waiting for Annie to get her laptop fixed in this right there. And there's this random music playing. I have no idea what it's about. Today I am going to get therapy and I haven't had I haven't tried to get therapy in years. I just feel very conflicted because I feel like I'm in a hard situation right now where I have to make a lot of big decisions and it's overwhelming and it's triggering a lot of anxiety in me and I just need someone to talk to so I'm seeking out help and therapy today and it's a, a mature decision <laughs> it's a healthy decision and if there's anyone out there who feels kind of like you don't know what to do you need to talk to someone don't hesitate to seek therapy or counseling or some sort of help professionally um, because it might help you and I'm hoping that speaking to someone will help me get um, perspective and help me come to a decision on what I want to do with my life and help me to make these big decisions like a lot of random stuff is going on right now Things like that cheer me up. That's a good thing. <laughs> a lot of random stuff is going on right now. <laughs> um... I have bad experiences with therapy. I tried getting therapy around 2006, somewhere around there. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like the, the activities that the therapist was making me do. It was really like, bothering me because she was making me do these activities that made me feel stupid kind of and silly uh, but I'm hoping that this situation is a little bit better and now I'm in a mature place where if there's something that an activity that she wants me to do and I don't feel comfortable doing it I can at least voice that instead of just stopping therapy period I think I'm in a better place now to get help so just letting you guys know it's okay seek help I've been doing a lot of journaling I still have this journal that I got when I was in LA, if you guys remember. And I've been doing a lot of journaling and that really helps me. I listen to a lot of like meditation music. Um, but right now I'm gonna write down a few things that I wanna talk about while I'm in therapy. That way I can kind of get everything covered that I want to get covered. Uh, Cause sometimes I walk away thinking, man, I forgot to mention this or this. I'm pretty, probably pretty sure that I'm still gonna do that. But at least I'll go in with a decent idea of like things that I wanna cover that way I can walk away a little bit more comforted knowing that I covered most of the things I want to cover. This area is so nice. Like I love how there are these things hanging. And like the trees. I like this kind of, you know, it's like a gritty street type of thing. I like that. I have to say that I have been very overwhelmed lately and anxious and the situation I'm in right now, obviously I'm not get going into details, but um, the time that I am in right now of having to make a decision and um, it's a bit stressful. I'm not a person that typically stresses, um, but right now I do feel like I'm in a, a stressful situation where I have to make a lot of big decisions and it is making me anxious, very anxious and one thing I want to say is that vlogging, whenever I pick up the camera to vlog, it makes me so happy. This is what I enjoy doing, you know, I love vlogging, talking to you guys and just sharing my life and what I see, my situation with you guys. So I just wanted to state that vlogging makes me so happy and it's one of those things that is keeping me like kind of sane is like being able to pick up the camera and talk to you guys so thank you guys for sticking around and listening to me and just following my journey and all that but yeah I am going through a tough time right now trying to make decisions and yeah this area is so pretty for those of you wondering I'm in Hote that's the area I am in and it's nice really nice Look at that cute tree, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let me zoom up for you guys. This tree, oh my gosh, look at it. 
Even the leaves, how they sway, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love that tree. I might have to go give it some attention later. This is the tree I was telling you guys about that's so beautiful. It's so nice. And then I came up to here. By the way, I'm lost. Well, Annie's with me now. <laughs> but where she's lost with me. Um, and we're trying to figure out where my therapy appointment is. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys this because I came here and I was like, oh, this is nice. Oh, there's a lady in there. But look how beautiful. Like, I seriously came in. I don't know if we're allowed, but I came in a little bit far because there was no one. Look at this door. It's just like a door on the side, you can see, leading over there. But this just looks funny. I would live somewhere like that. Like, here's my door. I am canceling my appointment because we're in the wrong area. So, I'm just like, oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> let her know, I will let her know. I just feel like there's no time. I'll let her know, I'll call her back. She said she will call you back. Okay, I'm sorry for it. Yeah. Okay, so we're back inside this thing. In this thing. <laughs> we think it's a temple. And look, these are palmellos. And we think they're meditating over there. We're not sure. Um, but this is so pretty. Yeah. I've never seen them on a tree like this before. When I was um, standing over there at the mm -hmm. shop while they were repairing my computer, mm -hmm. I saw And he said the sign says this is like the story or a painting of like what happens after you die. According to the movies mm -hmm. that I've watched, mm -hmm. this is the man who decides after you pass away, right? Yeah. You die, and then the soul, well, I guess it's the soul, no, it's yeah. not the soul. It's spirit like, or something? The spirit, mm -hmm. I guess. This man decides where you're going to go, right? whether you're going to go to, to hell, hell over there. Uh -huh. Let's like see what is hell. Paradise. Like where they torture you and stuff. Yeah. This is hell. Mm hmm And where's heaven? Let's see. Maybe it's on the other side? Yeah, they decide where you're gonna go. Yeah. This man decide. Yeah. These people are like assistant writing down. Like yeah. The, the, Interesting. That destiny. They show you all that in the dramas? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find heaven. Where's heaven? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is intense. What's so funny? Look how beautiful this is though. These trees are so cute. I love when I can see the roots like that. And they have tons of plants over here hanging. What happened? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh life has been um, mean or certain way like negative to your parents yeah oh your parents oh my gosh your father and your mother yeah like they will torture you in certain ways oh my gosh yeah so i guess it's like if you've done this you'll get this if you've done this you have to do this this is so interesting i'm glad we came down this way i was like i'm not gonna let um i guess they're rebuilding this temple I was telling Annie that I'm not going to let this negative situation. All of it is hell. I think so. <laughs> I know. I, I can't see how this is heaven. Yeah. I, I think it's sad that they're only showing the hell part. What about the heaven part? So I was telling Annie that I don't want to let the situation of not being able to do my therapy appointment stop me from having a good day. And I was like, I'm vlogging today, so I want to come over here and show them something <laughs> because I have to go on with my day. But it looks like they're rebuilding this temple. They're doing construction right now. Numbers? Yeah, yeah I see the numbers. Uh, I, I remember that in, in, in movies, they 
food is like how how bad were you as a human being? Yeah. We decided to eat our feelings. <laughs> oh, there's no sauce. Oh, not interesting. They don't have sauce. Yeah. So we ended up getting pizza, but we're kind of shocked that this doesn't even have like anything on it. Yeah, we're gonna eat our feelings now. I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like the video, subscribe. I'm gonna eat my feelings now. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, the vlog is not over. <laughs> um, the pizza is really, really disappointing. First, there's no sauce. Like, we ordered no cheese, but at least put some sauce. So, the lady brought some sauce that we can add to it. But it's still sad. It's still sad. So we're adding ketchup. <laughs> Just thought I'd update you guys on how sad it is. But I mean, we're asking for a lot, getting ordering pizza in Vietnam. <laughs> you know, sometimes you want pizza. This should be the first ingredient for them to put on top of the pizza. Yeah, sauce. Like the sauce. Thing. Yeah. I didn't know we have to ask for it. Yeah. To have it on the side or like tell them in a, you know, beforehand to add the sauce, the pizza sauce. Yeah. I'm gonna add some to this too. It's sad when you're like, mmm, the ketchup is good. <laughs> the ketchup makes the pizza. We've been craving pizza. I've been craving pizza a lot. And so this is the current situation. I feel like we're gonna finish this the show that we're gonna have to order some more ketchup. <laughs>